Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new team of the season, Matthias DeLitz, to check out. Uh, we're taking a look at someone who is six foot two, medium high work rates, right footed, two star skill moves, four star weak foot. If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Uh, people are freaking out about this card because he actually looks like he's really, really well formatted. And as you guys know, uh, Delit had a card you know, last year, two years ago, that was a really, really nice card, even if you play on the new gen version of the game. Um, and this OTW version, right, the only thing that it was mainly lacking in was the pace department, right? Even though he's a lengthy player on that shadow chemistry style, his pace was still on the lower side when it came to acceleration and stuff, but he had really good defensive animation. So with the team of the season card now existing, with the fact that you can give him the shadow chemistry style to work with 92 acceleration at a 99 for sprint speed, that's absolutely fantastic, okay? Because defensive stats is gonna be essentially perfect except for defensive awareness at a 98. So we're talking really good pace stats on a lengthy, okay? Defensive stats are going to be perfect, but then take a look at his base card stats for physical as well. We have 99 for strength, 99 for jumping, and 94 for aggression. A bunch of very, very good stuff to work with. The card's traits in-game with power header, with solid player traits, taking into consideration that he also has a 95 for shot power is pretty nuts to work with, especially for people that do that corner kick tactic. I don't know how to do it because I don't like to look up the ratty stuff, right? But... If you know how to, then obviously that's going to be a thing that people are probably going to want to look into, right? Passing. He's got a four-star weak foot with a 95 for composure while working with really good passing capabilities, right? So he's got 82 vision, 92 short passing, 82 long passing. Obviously some very good stuff to work with. Uh, dribbling also for a center back is also going to be in a fantastic area, right? Above 80s, but reactions at a 97, 95 for composure is nuts. Perfect defensive stats, and for physical capabilities, like I said, really, really good area, right? So, guys, with this card, we are going to be using him in the main defensive positions. My Elgato messed up on two of the first games, actually. Um, it froze completely, so I had to, like, turn off my computer, go back in, and then I was already losing by a lot, but I was like, whatever. I'm doing a goalkeeper defender review, so it's not really that big of a deal, right? So, guys, we'll be using him in the main defensive positions, 4-3-3, uh, 4, -3 -3, 4 -3 -2 one all that kind of stuff. And uh, we'll see how he plays in game, man. Hopefully he is a beast. Coming up for you from foot rivals. Stuart, what are your expectations for today? Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. Hold that an initial acceleration with Delit was crazy. And they have had an easier finish. Well, you've got to say an incredible first half performance. That scoreline is Dude, this Delit card is really good, guys. Yo, look at Matthias up against Glitch Bop, eh, bro? Look at this guy. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Look at that, dude. Carlos Alberto. Sam Maxima has it. Dude, I'm telling you, that's the lit card, guys. He is. They did a very, very good job with him, man. Like, even that, just to win the ball in the air again. Still gets to it for me. The lit again. Really showing off with wide range of passing skills. He's the one that actually does that turn quickly for me, eh? Very nice. Our trigger merchant. 
But the lit is a beast. Look at this guy, bro. Ball roll. There you go. Beautiful pass. That could have been. That could have been really bad. Beauty. Guys, I'm not beating him in these situations because these commands are horrible. Thank you, Delit. Oh, Delit, you beauty. Well positioned. Guys, ignore the score for the beginning. My Elgato was bugging out uh, right when I started the game. It froze, so I had to try to fix it. So just letting you know, because we're going to do little little clips first and then go from there. OK, guys, so it was literally at this point around this where we were able to play a little bit. At some point, I was just like, you know what, since I'm doing like defender and goalkeeper reviews, I'm just going to play open and go from there. Right. So we have a situation here with the lit where uh, we manually defend properly, but obviously the manual, defend the manual defending this game is horrible and we do end up conceding from that opportunity. So we have another situation here with uh, Delit where we lose possession of the ball. I want you guys to see his defending style right here, okay? So we're selecting some other players. Delit comes out of nowhere on the second man press. Beautifully uh, placed challenge in that uh, defensive area. So check out this situation here from kickoff, right? So obviously kickoff, a lot of uh, really weird stuff is going to happen. A lot of deflections here. Opponent gets through. Uh, we use manual goalkeeping because he probably assumes that's going to happen. He has to do a ball roll and Delit ends up saving us uh, in that situation from his crazy track back. Check out this defending with Delit in this situation. So we lose possession of the ball, right, in this situation here uh with uh joshua and then we also get a crazy tackle there with delay where we knock over the opposition we do a nice little weak footed challenge there so some good stuff uh to kind of uh defend that area well enough and we try to score here with diaby and we don't end up getting it but could have been a good situation there another good situation here where um we actually get rewarded in a manual situation uh we try to get the ball here at lucio don't end up getting it Control delete in that bottom area, and he goes in for a nice little challenge yet again. Watch this guy, man. He's he's honestly so good. So we select him here. Obviously, push him out of position a little bit too much to kind of test out the track back. He goes for the lob pass here, right? So a couple situations here. We have to start using the goalie a little bit. We continuously use him in this area, and then look at that challenge with his weak foot yet again. Brilliant stuff, man. It's really, really good defensive animations with this card for sure. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Delit card. So, guys, in regards to how this card performs in game, I do believe that the Shadow Chemistry style is going to make the most sense because obviously boosting his pace as well as his defense as much as possible is going to be the most ideal situation. The card looks very well formatted and it really shows in game. Uh, guys, genuinely speaking, okay, one of the best center backs in the game. He's very, very good. Like, he is genuinely very, very good fantastic defensive animations his physical works fantastically well on his unique body type the pace working with the defensive capabilities like guys we're up against the mbappes the alawarons all those types of guys unless they get this is the only thing right unless they get that first initial acceleration on you right because your defense is a little bit too high all that kind of stuff unless they get that it is very very hard to pass this defender he's genuinely amazing to use in game transition monster on the ball actually feels pretty good his unique body type is the thing that you have to look at the most because that unique body type is what makes all three of the main defensive capabilities of the card in pace defense and physical as good as it is okay physical super noticeable man when i'm when i'm catching up to people on that lengthy uh accelerates working with really good defensive stats this guy bullies people defensive animation choices very consistently good right uses the weak foot i always tell you guys on the center backs it's always very important that the the top tier center backs 
have at least a four-star weak foot, which he does, which was very, very noticeable in game. You guys can see it on multiple occasions when it came to defensive capabilities. If I decided to use a card like this in the left center back area, he still defends really well in that general position. When something happens when you're manually defending, that's just the game being horrible, okay? The manually defending in this game is... is you guys know how it is, okay? So that one situation with Sun where he ends up scoring, I didn't really care too much because I know that's what the game is. But I'm telling you guys this right now, generally speaking, 2.2 million coins as of right now kind of makes sense. You know, he's probably going to keep going down eventually, right? Um, who knows? But is he one of the better center backs to use in this game? He is. He's very, very solid. It's actually very noticeable in game, right? If we're going to be doing comparisons, uh, I think the main comparison is obviously going to be to the other center backs. And the only one that I can think of at the top of my head is um, it's uh, Upamakano. But I haven't tried out Upamakano ever since that uh, specific upgrade. I'll tell you guys this for free. Using Lucio and Matthias the Lit together was incredible. And that's that's the Lucio card that I have on KSR's account, right? So... Using these two together, it was just the perfect combination. We're talking about like full meta defenders that are going to help you out a whole lot. Like very, very good stuff to work with. The Quaz, a new one that actually came out today, 197k. We definitely have to try out that uh, whenever given the opportunity. But yeah, the only other card you can really make a comparison to. Uh, Hummels is more of like a cheaper option, right? But Upamakano at 130k. I don't think this card is going to touch uh, Matthias the Lids. Like, not even close. Like, obviously, the price range is very, very different. But regardless of the card being new and all that kind of stuff, like I said, one of the better center backs I've used uh, so far this year. He was genuinely fantastic to use. Um, didn't really have that much problem with him. Like I said, the only thing, and this is being very nitpicky because most people park the bus anyways, is that initial acceleration, right? When you're up against the Mbappes and stuff. It's just that initial part. But... You have to control the guy earlier and run as fast as you possibly can. It's just how it kind of works in this game. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.